We are going to take you live. Happening earlier than expected is this news conference by Attawapiskat Chief Teresa Spence. As I mentioned uh, just a few moments ago, she has been on a hunger strike since December 11th, not taking any solid food, but just uh, liquid nourishment. And uh, there is a meeting that is planned between uh, chiefs, uh, leaders of uh, Aboriginal uh, nations uh, or uh, uh, groups in, tr in Canada and the Prime Minister and the Assembly of First Nations Chief Sean Atlio is going to be there. The question was who else would attend uh, and many Native Chiefs had already said they were not going to attend unless the Governor General David Johnston was also there. So we'll be watching to see who will actually be at that table but right now Chief Teresa Spence and her news conference live uh, from Victoria Island in Ottawa. I mean a lot, but that's not true. At the beginning, I, I made a statement that uh, this meeting uh, was, uh, was supposed to be with the Governor General and the Prime Minister. It's important for both of them to be there at the same time with the leaders, with all leaders, not just a few leaders. And I hear it's a, it's a working group meeting, but it's not. It's nation to nation uh, with the chiefs with, uh, to have this meeting with the Prime Minister and the go Governor. Because, you know, it's been so many years that they've been getting away with the in violation of the treaty. And we're given this, this opportunity for them to, you know, to resolve uh, the, tre uh, the broken promises from the treaty. And then and all we are asking is a meeting and to sit down with them. We're not, um, it's not a new thing that's been happening. And this meeting has been overdue for so many years. For example, you know, especially in the remote area, areas, in the other areas, that we need immediate needs. And these are the demands that we need to sit down with the government and the uh, governor general. For example, infrastructure for our communities and housing and education and health and justice and uh, revenue sharing. You know, like Where's we, the money go, Chief we we share the land. No questions. We share the land. We sh we share the land. All these years, and we never got anything from it. And we will not take any questions, please. Any, all the benefits is going to Canadian citizens, except for us. You know, your ancestors came to our land. We even saved them. They escaped. They escaped from their country because they were starving. And when, he, when they came to our, our land, our ancestors welcomed them with open hands and they, they helped them out. So it's important for the government and the Governor General, you know, to understand about the treaty. It seems like they're forgetting about the treaty or they, they don't understand it. So it, right now they're just honoring, honoring the treaty. And for the government, he makes false statements about fundings. He doesn't give details where it goes. Most of the funding that we have, it goes back to you, to taxpayers. It goes out of our reserve. For example, if there's housing, we have to hire contracts. We have to order the materials from out of town and the shipment. We pay tax on that. Even we hire lawyers. That's from our reserve. Consultants. That, that's where the money goes. So when, when the uh, prime minister makes a false statements, yes, Canadians are going to believe it. But for us, we know the truth. And there's a lot of times the government penalizes us when we speak up. For example, the third party we went through, we didn't have no funding for six months, but we survived it. So this is why this is important this, to renew this relationship, because this government has been abusing us, raping the land. You know, like he's so much in control, and I'm surprised the Crown allowed to give a prime minister the authority. It's the, it was the crown that we made the treaty with, not the prime minister. They're the keepers. And uh, right now, I, the way I feel, the crown violated the treaty the day she gave authorized to the prime minister to um, control everything. You know, the treaty was not about control. It's about sharing, honoring, and respecting each other. And we've been doing that for so many years. You know, I know that Prime Minister and the Governor, they always use the media to make uh, look bad on us. But we, we don't do that. We tell the truth. He comes after my personal life. I don't even do that to him. Or we don't even do that to him to go after his personal life. 
So the media, you need to get your facts straight before you put anything out because you're misleading Canadians. We're not misleading the Canadians. We're there. We want all we want is justice, equal and fairness. What you're entitled. We we haven't give we First Nation give you that already. So we never change your lives. Why should you guys change our lives? We had our ways. Thank you. Thank you very much. She is. Uh, she won't be open to any questions. I'm sorry. Why no questions? Why no questions today? The questions. That's how it is going to go. And there's there's why just. No well, if she's advocating no. for transparency, why because no questions? We already mentioned that before this all began. She's been on a 30 day, 30 day, 32 day hunger speak. strike. Why no questions? Yes. She because obviously can speak. That's just the rules. How it's going to go today. So thank you very much for coming. And you're all going to have to head back that way. We I are promise to have a to, uh, the end of the news conference by Attawapiskat Chief Teresa Spence, and you heard one of her spokespeople there uh, talking about the uh, hunger strike. You know what, let's listen in to see what's happening in this uh, discussion. It's been quite in black and white for so like how long? Not there, she's not going? If who's not there? If the Governor General... If the Governor General is not there with the Prime Minister, this isn't... It's it's not going to happen. And, and this, last night, you guys all reported, the Chiefs all stood in solidarity last night. And we allowed media to come in to witness this. So you have to be reporting those facts, right? Is that our people are coming together and saying, we need to have a meeting with the Prime Minister and the Governor General in one room. So the hunger not strike continues? Separate meetings. Yes, the hunger strike continues. Thank you very much. How, how long? Obviously, reporters have lots of other questions they'd like to ask. I certainly have some questions I'd like to have uh, a go at as well, but that's not going to happen. That news conference, very short, but held by Attawapiskat uh, Chief Teresa Spence. Who